Hi. So in this video, we're going to try and understand how to use VLOOKUP, what is the sort of usage of VLOOKUP and what are the areas where it doesn't work and then you know how do we go and use something like XLOOKUP which solves the problems that VLOOKUP wouldn't be able to solve, right? So let's understand and dive right into it. We have a table with a bunch of cement companies and their data given to us and uh, their sales, their PAT. Uh, market cap return on equity over the last five years uh, and we're trying to kind of get some information out of it and uh, where we look up works is if you are searching for the value on the leftmost column and then you know corresponding to that you want data in any of the other columns in the table right so for example if we were to ask what is the sales of ACC cement and we say okay let's just search for sales of ACC cement so I need to find this particular value right that's what uh, is to be derived so what we can do is we can just type let's say we look up and we look up will have its own uh, syntax you'll see lookup value you'll see table array so lookup value is the value that has to be looked up for table array is the place from where we will derive the data and then which column do you need it for right so that's what we are basically looking up for so we look at lookup value lookup value in this particular case is going to be so let's actually just do this again very quickly we say we look up what is the lookup value that's ACC that's here on the right cell comma table array we'll select the entire table from where we need the value let's freeze this uh, now in this table sales is in column 2 right so I'm gonna put 2 in column number and I need an exact match so I'll put 0 there right so close this bracket enter and we get the value which is corresponding to the sales of ACC there right similarly if I have to get the profits for Ambuja Siemens then I can do we look up for Ambuja Siemens in the same table right we can search for column th because in the third column we have the profit exact match enter and we'll get the value for uh, for uh, this uh, as well which is uh, 2799 and that's 2799 is Ambuja Siemens profit correct so we get that what is the five-year ROE for uh, ACC we can do that so we look up for ACC and ROE is in the fifth column so I'll say column 5 0 and enter and that's the ROE number that we get we can format it so we get the 12 percent number right now you'll understand that we look up works when you're looking for the value in the first column and you're moving sort of on the right in that right so you go on the right side and then use it that works right the problem occurs if you start looking somewhere else so let's say if I ask you a question as to which company has the highest market cap right now here the data is in a sorted order so I basically need the answer as Ultratech cement but we look up only goes rightwards right so that doesn't solve this problem now that problem can be solved using multiple ways but we look up is not going to solve for it because we look up can't look left words in the table it will only look on the right side so if the lookup value is in the first column then we look up works but if the lookup value is not in the first column agar lookup value second third fourth kisi or column mein hai to we look up kaam karna band kar dega it won't work right so now I can use multiple ways there are functions called index match that can be used to do this this function called offset that can be used to do this along with match but now Excel has come up with this function called XLOOKUP now XLOOKUP is a very powerful function it can basically look up in any direction and uh, solve the problem accordingly right now let's say I want to look at XLOOKUP here so what I'm going to do is I'm going to type XLOOKUP and XLOOKUP has a bunch of values once again what is the lookup value I want to look at this 242 where do I have to look it up at I have to look up in the lookup array so I'll select this entire lookup array and what is my return array right so I can basically freeze this right let's, let's do this again very quickly so we say X lookup right let's open this up lookup value is here we say look up array very quickly here right if I want to freeze I can freeze but that's okay return array is the name I want so I want it on the left side now and this is the array from where I need the name corresponding row 
value will be thrown to me, correct? Then I can say if not found or match mode, etc. But I can leave all of this blank as well. And when I click on OK or done, it'll give me ultra tech cement, right? Now this works because uh, it's in a sorted order. But what if this value was, let's say, argument sake, this was 287? Then it doesn't work, right? I mean, it's, uh, I'll have to manually find it. So there's another thing I can do is first I can actually put and find out this function called max. So what is the max value? So I'll get max value here. And now what I can do is this max can be put in the lookup value. So in the ultratech uh, cement function solution here, instead of D6, I can say max of D6 to D12. And I can say done. And you'll see the answer is Ambuja Cement because we've done this value here. Now what this does is it makes this dynamic. So if now I remove this two from here and I say 87 is the number for them. So then the largest one is 242. So that gives me the value here. I can change max with min and I can find out what is the company with the lowest market cap. So the power of XLOOKUP is it can go in any direction and consequently solve for the problem of VLOOKUP. In fact, in all the first three cases also, you could have used XLOOKUP. So XLOOKUP is an improvement over VLOOKUP in the sense of how do you go about using that in Excel. And that's one of the core use cases of XLOOKUP. That's it in this particular video. Thank you.